Hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Cherokee Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So we're out and about today and there's this bright orange ball of fire in the sky. Not seen that thing for a while. I think it's the sun, um, but I'm not sure. Anyway, we're on our way down the road about 30 minutes to another farm. Just happens to be a viewer of the channel who sent me an email and said, hey, when you guys are gonna be doing pig castration, I'd like to come and watch and learn. Well, we don't have anything scheduled and are not gonna have anything probably until mid-May, early May, somewhere in that neighborhood. <clears throat> and he's got some uh, little boar piglets right now that need to be castrated. So we're gonna go down, help him do that, catch a little bit of footage and go back over the whole um, castration process on piglets and uh, visit his farm and see how things are going down there. So stick around with us a little while and uh, let's go work on somebody else's farm today. So these are um, supposed to be Berkshire. Yeah, probably somewhat of a Little cross of a mix, in there yeah. somewhere in the jeans. Yeah, they look like they've got some some large black in them with those um, floppy ears. And like I say, there's a <clears throat> there's a Chinese breed that looks like a big Sharpe, big old wrinkly. And I can't yeah. remember the name of those pigs, but they look a little bit like that. Um, there's no telling, honestly. And so, how many boys? How many girls? Uh, we're supposed to have six males, and there's one female that could potentially be a future breeder out here for okay us. cool all right and how old they're eight weeks old eight weeks and okay. a couple days now all right mule foot no they're not mule foot is that a mouth yeah nope nope yeah, yeah it's it got is. a yeah it's a mouth yeah it's a mouth <laughs> <laughs> I, I seen i seen hole but it was both um they're not mule foot where are they is it mangalista is that no possibility. Those are small, aren't they? Yeah. So these are these are small enough. You really probably could do these by yourself. The way we typically do them is, and you can use a bench or something. But these guys are so small. Um, we'll just put them on the ground like this, and then take his hind legs and put them together like that, and just push down, and you see they'll come. You'll mm -hmm. see his now. <clears throat> something to watch for. Or something to pay attention to is you'll see right here there's a seam right in the middle of his scrotum mm -hmm. so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make an incision on both sides of that seam and pop it out <clears throat> and i look at them and see if they've got any signs of any hernia or anything and he he does not i mean his belly looks good if they've got a if they've got signs of hernia you probably want to cut the testicle out if they don't have any signs of a hernia just pull them. So. And we'll show you what we yep, mean. Yeah, we'll show you what you mean. There. Is that just like an iodine? Or? Yep, just beta dine. You can get that at Walmart or the drugstore or whatever. Now, <clears throat> some people will use a, a scalpel and you can get those at Tractor Supply. A utility knife with a good sharp blade on it is all you need. So once you cut it, there's two or three layers here, mm -hmm. and you have to make sure you, that you get through that inside sac and you're all the way down to the testicle. See like that, that's not into the testicle. Okay. There's another membrane there. Now that is. That's the testicle right that's there. That's testicle right there. And we'll just do both sides here. And then you just pop them. And pull them. And pull them. That's it. All right, you got your blue coat. <clears throat> and then, so they, there may be a little bit of uh, vas. It's a, it's a vas different that sticks out. Just gently kind of reduce it back in there. But it may come back out. Yeah. It, it, it'll fall off in a couple of weeks. And then a little blue coat or a little piney. A buddy of mine, and I've never heard of piney. A buddy of mine, he <laughs> lives down east. You know, they talk funny down there anyway. Um, says his grandpa used to use that, and I don't know what it is. It sounds like it's... A, cross between turpentine and uh, pine saw to me but we use <laughs> we just use that blue coat 
spray a little blue coat on it. Now, he'll probably bleed just a little bit for a couple days. He maybe not. maybe a day if he bleeds at all. I mean, those are such small incisions. Just you just want to watch him, make sure that he don't have any kind of clear yellow looking drainage or anything like that coming out of it. They don't a lot of swelling, a lot of swelling or he don't start acting real lethargic or anything like that. Otherwise, they're they're fine. Now the ours typically now he's gonna bleed just a little bit. Ours the first thing they'll do whenever we cut them is they'll go out and they'll drag right through the mud. I mean, yes, you know, you yeah, just do the worst thing they could do to, you know, create infection or something like that. All right, buddy. You're all done. I just sort of jacket, jack his knees. There you go. Okay. Just like that. Look like any hernias or anything mm -hmm. to you? No, he looks good. Get your little tail down there, brother. Now he will, he'll try to come out from under you now. So this yeah. little boy's got a swelling on his in his scrotum right here. We got firm right there. He's got a swelling all around his scrotum right there, and I don't know if that's a fluid pocket or I mean right there's the testicle. Right down there. It squirts, just make it squirt that way. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get him in the face with it. That's what he's saying. There's definitely something in there. You can feel it roll. Through it, like it right there. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't feel like doesn't fluid, feel like to, me. fluid to me. Yep, you're right. I think he might already have on it. He may. There, now that looks like Berkshire. Um, He's got the white. Yeah, that looks like a Berkshire. That one sure does. <laughs> See, that's what both of the parents look like. Years, but he, he does look like both of the parents look like. Yeah, like now this one, one looks. could have had a little bit of a. Different something in him. Yeah, now this one looks like a Berkshire. So what we do here is we just make sure <clears throat> he looks good. that both testicles can be kind of palpated and felt. And then pigs have got a seam that run right down between their testicles in the center of their scrotum right here. And you're going to make an incision on both sides. <clears throat> so Saunders going to take and push those, kind of raise those testicles out to the, to the surface. And then just a small incision. There's typically two layers of tissue there. And they're going to spoil you. And then just squeeze. And that testicle will pop right out. And then just pull it. Same on the other side. Pop the testicle out. Pull it. Okay. Spray him down with a little antiseptic. And he's done. Well done, little guy. So now take your uh, you right hand or left hand? Right. Alright, so take your left hand. And grab both both feet right here and just push them over to the side like that and just you're going to go across his body with him there you go now we'll just pour a little bit of pour a little bit of beta down on him right there all right then from your angle snip snip <clears throat> and just be right there. yeah see if you'll push with your left hand That'll push his testicles on there. You there. there you go. Just like that. There you go. Exactly. Yeah, don't right. be don't be easy with it. Right there? <laughs> yep. On his leg. Oh, I think that way. Yeah. 
There you go. I get through the both layers and just. I don't think you just got through the first. There You'll you see some That's fluid plenty. come out when you get. Now just see if it'll push out right there. Yeah, he's not through the. Yeah, your exterior incision is plenty big enough. He was the runt, they said, for sure. I'm going to walk in here and just get some pictures of him. Hello, babies. <clears throat> All right, got kind of late while we were standing around out there after we got done castrating the piglets. Um, Sandra, Thad, and myself, we, we all kind of stood around there and, and just kind of chewed the fat about farming and different things. It was nice to get out. weather's been terrible, um, so it was nice to get out. He had that one piglet that we showed a little clip of uh, in the video there. Looked like he either had a scrotal hernia or some kind of hydrocele or fluid pocket in his scrotum. Decided it was best not to castrate him, just leave him alone and watch him for a couple weeks and see how he does and see if that um, see if that thing sorry about the light see if that thing gets any better. If it does, probably go ahead and castrate him then. If not, worst case scenario, just be ready. To go ahead and uh, and process that pig for their own purposes. Um, beautiful place. They've got a fantastic farm out there. They bought uh, just some raw land. Didn't have any roads or anything into it, and they have just done a super job. Beautiful piece of property, uh, about 30 minutes away from here. So, but anyway, hope that covers the piglet castration. Answer some questions that some folks have had. I'm gonna post a link to another piglet castration video up here. Um, if you've not seen that one, check that one out. We got some different information in that. Um, if you've not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Follow along with us. We got baby pigs coming, baby sheep coming, baby chicks coming. It's just, it's baby time around here. But anyway, appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks.